everyone this is another video for you guys this time you're getting in one video you're getting two of it we're gonna test this inverter we're going to test this inverter this is a brand name and it's 3000 watts i'm glad they start doing like that i don't know why they're putting this maybe one of these days we can test this to see if we can get a peak 6000 watt i have tested this before it does produce 3000 watts it does so i'm going to show it live because i don't know if i have posted a video like that before now um, this is what i'm using to to do the test i have i have this bag that i get from this company amc okay amc and this is about this is the wattage it says 364 watts and this pack this pack has about 48 batteries so what i did i cut one of them like this one and cut them into pieces into three pieces to give me 12 volt battery this is 36 volt and this is 12 so i cut them like this i have a video on that which will give you 48 volts so i glue them i put them together I put them together and give you 48 volts. So I create some, some the positive, that's a, neg that's a negative side, that's a positive side, positive side. And then we, we're about to test this thing live. Okay, so uh, how many how many watts combined it is? I take 264 divided by 12, divided by 3, because I cut it into two pieces. I take one piece, add it to this, to the pack. It gave me a total of 485 watts 485 watts is going on it's on this battery now because the battery has 485 watts but it can it's capable of pushing 3000 watts we're about to use this battery this battery and the inverter and to start a, a heat gun and a heater to see if we can produce you think of what is it 3000 watts we're going to test this machine if it can produce it was or not okay so in other words it's going to see the performance of the battery one pack only and the performance of this inverter okay let me set the inverter I used I use this capacitor to charge I use this uh this resistor to charge the capacitor inside the inverter so that I don't like the sparks, I'm afraid of sparks. So I see some guys on on YouTube does it and I'm doing it too. So keep it there for a couple minutes. To see if it's truly charged. That's also therefore there is no spark. And everything is look good. I'm still afraid of this thing. There's no spark. Pull it back. Now everything's look good. Power is on. So let me check the voltage of the inverter. Yeah. I mean, the voltage on the on the battery. I got fifty two point six. Everything's tight. One from two from the positive and the negative. Let me see what I got. Fifty two point six. So we're good. Now I'm gonna set. That, uh, the tools I'm going to be using. Now, as you can see, the embedded is set. Um, this is the wire, this is the cable I'll be using. We will be using those, those, the heat gun. 
and the heater. We're going to be using that. So let's turn on the inverter. So, I think I pressed the pause. I forgot to turn back on. Okay, the battery is coming back. It went all the way to 3000 to, to 42. And this thing does run. It's going back. It was at 40. So let me make it drop again. I, I just turned this thing off and put it back on. This is the fan. It's going back down pretty quick and the fan of the other day did come on the reason it's going fast it just okay this this inverter stuff at 40 something because my battery just drained okay and the battery performed pretty good what happened is i did this test three times and i believe that i forgot to turn the turn the camera on now this is what we have here We have so the battery is drained. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Alright, yeah, let me turn this thing off. The battery is going to recall, it's going to go back to 2 to 52. But well, this time I did drain it. This is my fourth time I'm doing the test. This is the battery, it's still by itself. Um, let's see how long it takes to, to recall. Now my next video, I'm going to test two of them and see how long does it last. Taking 3,000 right out of it. Now this pack is drained. Let's put it back. It's fully drained. It's recovering. Let's see how far will it go. Without any charge. Last time I joined it, I joined the battery to forty, I believe forty two. Came back all the way to four to fifty two point six. I did it twice. It does the exact same thing. So right now it was at 45, it's rising. It's rising. It's coming back. Without any charges. I'm at 46.1. No charge. This is not being charged by anything. I'm in my living room. And it's not being charged by anything. Well, the test was successfully done. We test the inverter. We produce 3,000 watt. We haven't have. We are not able to to test the 6,000 peak for, for for the time being. But we need more more tools to be able to do that. All right now, this is what I have. I have. This is about 15 1,500 watt. This is 1500 watts. And 
this is What to? So you got two of them, fifteen hundred watt. They give you three thousand watt. So the inverter is truly three thousand watt. Okay, it's truly three thousand watt, and the battery is not bad at all. The battery is not bad at all. It was all the way down to forty five. It came back to forty six. I believe it's gonna come back. Because I've done this test before. This is my fourth time doing the test. I want to make sure I didn't charge the battery. And tomorrow, or oh, another day, I'm going to have two of those packs. I'm leaving this battery uncharged. The reason for it, I'm leaving it uncharged because I'm about to put to use all of them. And then use a BMS. I'll show you the BMS in the near future video. And I'm going to do two packs together to see how well it perform I believe on one pack 3000 watt more fast one pack 3000 watt 3000 watt goes pretty fast okay I may have posted another video with the same test before I'm not sure so the inverter perform beautiful the battery does the right job that is pretty good so i believe that when the first time i did the test the battery probably is up there i think i was pushing about 100 i was pushing 3000 watt on those battery and it takes me within 10 minutes the fuse i had a fuse right there that fuse come off so i had to everything stop by itself then I restarted it. I restarted the test again. And I shut it off at 40. This time I let the machine shut itself off. The machine shut itself off. Okay, so I'm sorry about the video because I didn't have most of the footage. Until the next video, just look out for the next video. We're gonna have three pack of those batteries. Most likely the same probably last me 20 minutes.